live shrimp has gotten me a catfish, which is not the kind of species I'm after. I have caught two fish though, and that was with the artificial. That thing out there is just making so much noise. Uh, the fish can't ignore it, obviously. Trout uh, are notorious for that. They're just angry fish and they see something coming past their spot. They may not even be hungry, they're just like, get out of here, you know, and they go to bite it. Just as like a warning almost, and the next thing you know they're hooked. So sometimes they're, they're catchable, even when they're not feeding. As long as you piss them off enough, one of the ways you, uh, it seems like you can get them to bite is if you pause that spook, just let it sit there. And they might be sitting there underneath it, looking at it. Like, what are you doing? Go away, go away, you know? <laughs> and you twitch it a couple more times and boom, they jump on it. As opposed to, as opposed to just uh, working it back steadily the entire way. Where they just might be sitting on the bottom watching it go by and not come after it. If you pause it, sometimes it irritates them enough to elicit a strike. I always think about like a cat sitting uh, in a, on the, uh, the edge of a, a living room and you're working like a little feather or on a string or something past the cat. It might just sit there watching it intently and then you stop it and all of a sudden the cat's like, huh? Why, it stopped. And then you twitch it again and boom, the cat jumps on it. So I think fish are the same way. You kind of have to tease them a little bit. Stop it, pause it, alter that cadence of the lure a little bit and you'll catch a fish. It's gotten me two trout today. Live bait, which is usually the go-to bait hasn't gotten me anything except that stupid catfish. Oh, fish. Oh, that lure was just sitting there. I wasn't even working it yet. And the fish... Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. See what I'm saying about those fish being angry. That fish saw that lure sitting there and got pissed off at it and jumped on it. There you go. This guy's kind of small. Remember if you if you don't plan on keeping a fish, a trout that is, make sure you wet your hand so that you don't remove the slime from their bodies. That keeps them healthy. Yeah, this guy's a little small. You gotta take a drink. You gotta stop to have a drink. <laughs> wow, this thing's powerful. Whatever the heck it is. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Man. What's up, Jack?
You see now, caught this fish, and I can safely hold them with these bokas while I remove these hooks, so I don't get uh, one in my finger. The only reason I have this bokeh grip available is because I put those other two fish on a stringer. What's up there, buddy? Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Uh, uh. Do yourself. Oh boy. All right. I got enough to eat tonight. I don't need no Jack or Val. In you go, buddy. Like a bullet, he's gone. Golly, those things are fun to catch. <laughs>